second guy. We found one. This guy out right here. This is the actually the first fish. I'm, first or second fish. I think it's the first fish I threw out. Second. I don't remember now. I'm just trying to get settled in here and get set up. And, oh, thank you. He jumped into the net. Y'all see that? He had the timing right. I gave him a 10 just for that. For that jump. He jumped right in the net. That's a nice fish, guys. So I ain't even got my board out yet. Alright, y'all close your eyes. You can't see this color. This is a fun day now, guys. It's not a pull to catch. Uh, it's a fun day. He's not hooked bad, guys. I just can't get it loose. It's got him in the there he goes. Got him in the skin a little bit. It's a fun day. This is not a port of catch. That's a nice fish. I was playing around with colors Saturday. Uh, Friday. Friday. I was playing with colors. All right, guys, look, he's 13. I thought he was a decent fish. And, uh, like I say, I keep mentioning a bunch of YouTubers, but y'all talk about. Some of them been talking about this color from Bonehead that's discontinued. I thought, I probably could make that color. Well, I don't have the right chartreuse to make that color. The chartreuse dye that I have coloring, some of it's dye and some of it's coloring, guys. The chartreuse I have, I can't get it much darker than that. So I added pearl to it. It's got a little bit of pearl in it. And I put just a few silver flakes in it, if y'all can see that. Small float, silver flakes. And, of course, the back is pumpkin seed i use green pumpkin lightly in the back look i bent my hook i'm telling you once you bend them it is bent just a touch yeah i'm still using the same hook from videos back guys like i said i catch a bunch of fish when we're in open water on the same jig and when you're taking it in out of the fish like i grab those pliers like that that's what's hard on that hook you bend it up a little bit she's gonna break Right in the middle. Right in the middle of the screen. Now you see they're chasing me. I'm going to take it away from them. I don't want to bring them to the boat. The boat's moving. The wind's pushing me, guys. The one stayed there in the middle. Right there, there. They're moving a lot today. This could be bass. See how fast they're moving there? And I'm going to find out. Got one of them. See him coming in? They're moving fast, whatever they were. They went all right, guys, here we are on this end. It's a crappy. Now, look, y'all see how fast they were moving on the other camera? They were getting it. I threw at them. One of them followed it. I reeled it in and took it away from them because they was coming toward the boat. You, they're spooky in this thing water, as I said before. You don't want to bring them to the boat. So I reeled it in real fast, and they turned and was going away from it this way, and I threw out in front of them, and this one grabbed it. I didn't even see him grab it. I just, he's a nice fish. He's going to surprise you. But man, that's how master traveling. He's 13. Guys, I went back to the 148th ounce head. These fish, of course, I done that on a video the other day. I was using a 148th ounce head. Y'all have seen that video or not? Cause it's cause of the slow fall. Well, that's a nice crappy. Come on, come on. They are fighting hard. I got two pound test guys, and I use two pound test cause it's easier to throw that. It's easier to throw this little jig on it. If you got a 148, you can't throw it on a big heavy, heavy line, guys. See there? Is that... All right. This is the color I call. I called it Rambo in the video, but I end up naming it Rainbow because it's got so many colors in it. And I thought Rambo might not be a good name. <laughs> might get me in trouble. All right, guys. Look, that's a nice fish, guys. He's 13 and a quarter. Look how fat he is. Look how fat that thing is. <laughs> Bam. All right, this is just a fun day. I mentioned that earlier. Uh, I'm using a variety of baits, variety of colors. That's what I do on a fun day. I'm still using all my baits. Actually, I got, all right, I'm going to tell myself, there's three bags of Bobby Garland's on here I put on here a month ago. And I thought, I might just pull them out one day and have some different colors to see if they work good in this water. But I've been having so much luck on mine, I hate to switch. So this is the little fluke. You see how skinny it is. You can't have a great big old uh, barb on here. You'll bust it. I, usually I cut the barb off. Now I know a lot of y'all watch all my videos, so you're going, yeah, Dennis, we know, but some, some of these might be your first video. See how I cut that off? That's how I usually do it. That way you don't bust it out. And the willow tail's the same way. Here's a willow tail laying here. We're gonna put this one on here in a minute. 
I call this color sunshine. It's chartreuse, gold, silver, and chartreuse flake. But it's the same way. You got a big barb, you're going to bust it. But there's times you need to be using smaller baits, and because uh, and these are two inches long now. Don't get me wrong. They're not tiny baits. They're two inches long. They're just not very. Fat. They're not a fat bait. All right. They're only a quarter inch in diameter. Uh, there's times you need a smaller uh, bait. And look, this fish seen this bait coming. He's seen it falling through the water column out there. I can tell you on the live scope. When it got within five feet from him, he come running for it. He called fair catch. And I didn't have my other cam up here. I'm gonna put, I'll put it back up here because I wish y'all would have seen that. As the bait was sinking, here he come. And I filled the thump and I set the hook. You know, y'all know the rest of the story. People ask me, how do I tell fish from apart? See that right there? That's not a crappie. That's a car or a gar. What you're seeing with all them bars and movement, you're seeing his body moving. Okay? All right, guys. Good gosh. I seen a school going by. And I don't know if it's crappy or not. It was about 10 fish. and They were going to my left. I just turned around and cast it. And before I ever started reeling, one of them had it. <laughs> I let it sink. It was about eight foot deep. I let it sink where I think it was eight foot, and I started reeling. When I started reeling, one of them had it. I went, dang. That was all right. I don't think this one was in the school. They didn't look that big. I thought they was probably 10, 12 inches, 10 inches maybe, but this one might have been below them or something. I don't know. They move them pretty fast, but I'll take him. But I've never seen this fish I caught right here. Never seen him on the scope. And that's what I was telling uh, somebody in this very cove right here Saturday. It rained all day Sunday. It's a nice fish, guys. All right. I done been in this movie once. I kept the sickle hook. Uh, this is what I done the other day. I cut my line, turned the hook upside down, turned the head of it down like that. Came right out. See there? There's a trick for you guys. I learned that Saturday. The sickle hook, when it comes all the way through and gets through this nose right here and stuff, it's hard to get out. If you cut the line, put the head down this way, it'll come right out. I can tired of bending my hooks up, guys. That's the ones Lamar gave me. This is the heads that Lamar gave me. I don't want to bend them all to pieces. That's why I've done that. That's a nice fish. I thought I might tear up my good hooks. I like them. And any hook, once you bend them up, guys, that's the end of them. This is a fat thing. Look here. He's not quite 14, guys. Look how fat he is. Though. Great time of day. That is a pig for a 14-inch fish. He ain't quite 14, but he's a pig. Fish right there in the middle of the screen. I'm trying to fine tune on him. I hope the wind ain't eating y'all up. He's too close, I can't let my controller motor spotlight. Oh, I think it's a couple. Let's see if he. Looks like it's a couple of them. I thought it was a decent fish, but I think it's gonna be smaller fish. Alright, see what I'm chasing me there? There he is, I got him. There he Got him on this end. I don't know if y'all got to see him chasing the bait. I tried to move the scope with one hand, trying to reel, <laughs> but he was chasing the chasing the. Uh, come on this way, get away from the trolling motor. Chasing the bait, then uh, then you see him roll up and grab it. It's a little windy today. The fish are moving a lot. That was in a school of about. I think it was. I don't know, guys. Y'all have to look at us. three to six, maybe in that school, three to five, and. Uh, they didn't look very big, and they're not. He's decent size. I say he's little, but he's 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 gonna be bigger than you think he is. Guys, I should be doing a porter catch on this bait. I'm using the same bait. I hadn't switched. Uh, it's been doing so good for me. I just kept on throwing it. I just made those. And Mason came by yesterday. He looked at them. He picked them up and went. Uh, I said, "What's that mean?" I said, you don't like those? He's 11 and three quarters. Uh, I said, uh, you, you don't you don't like those? He said, uh, I said, you think I'll catch any fish on them? Tell them, you, Mason. He said, yeah, you might. Uh, when the water's stained like this, you can get by with some strange looking colors. But pumpkin chartreuse has been a great bass color for years, guys. And uh, I actually I think he said, yeah, you might. So I made two sets. I made another set that's darker, that the green's darker and the, and the pumpkin's darker. So I've come back and apologized. So he might he might have meant that one. 
But because I remember I picked this, this was yesterday evening, guys. I picked it up and I said, uh, this one, this one is a copy to, I was trying to copy the, the bonehead color that everybody likes so much, which is a chartreuse belly, pearl, and a pumpkin head. He said, yeah, it looks okay. Uh, when you think about crappy, you don't think about a pumpkin seed color being that good. But, you know, look at black and blue. Black and blue is good, and I mean, there's uh, June bugs good. And if y'all think about it, and you're looking in the water, you think about things in the water that the crappy eat. There's nothing in that water they eat that looks June bug, is it? Unless it's a leech. You know, so the natural colors, I caught the earlier one on, the, the clear colors, the smoke colors, with the flake and stuff in them, you can understand those. Even the short trees ones, like this, you can understand that because you know, it's got the silver flake and stuff in it and it's sparkling like a minna, you know, and, and you know the water probably gives the minnas a little bit of a, a color. They probably don't look the same to us as they do the fish, right? That's something we'll never know if fish see the colors the same as we see them, though. Okay, guys, I wanted to be fair to Mason after I made that comment in that last one. I dug out, the, I'm going to show you in a minute, I dug the other color out there. He went, mmm, about And guess what? I caught a crappy on it the first cast. I walked up to the death finder, looked out there, and it was two at 45 feet. I threw out there, couldn't see my bait. I seen one of them move. When I seen one of them move, I knew my bait was close, and I started reeling it and caught one. You don't have to see your bait. What helps you, if you spot the fish, you know where to cast, guys. Somebody asked me that the other day. I don't always see my bait. That's a nice fish, too. Wow. All right. <laughs> All right, Mason, I'm going to rub it in on you. Here you go. If you can see the fish, you know what direction to cast. That's what I've done. He was out there, and I threw out there, and then the wind, I threw above the wind a little bit and allowed for that. Never seen my bait. When I thought I was 10 feet by where they were, I started reeling it slow. And I, and I didn't hardly reel it at all. A couple, a couple turns, guys, and I hit him. All right, back to the pliers. This ain't going to be no problem, I don't think. I think I just need to get it. Yep. All right. Let me look at this fish, and I'm going to show you all the bait. Oh, he smacked the camera. He's fat, too. Look at that belly. Woo, what a belly. Oh, my gosh, guys. All right, there you go. He's 13 and a quarter. Look how fat he is. Woo-hoo. See you, big mama. You know what, guys? I'm catching some nice ones today. It's, oops, it's a little windy. My remote control catching down here. I got my remote control hanging off my strap here, guys. All right, let me grab this bait and show it to you real fast. I'm going to sit down here real fast and show it to you. I can turn my back to the sun a little bit. All right. And I'm going to show you both bags. This is the bait, bait I just caught him on. All right. Now, some of y'all are saying it's the same one. I'm going to show it to you in the bags. All right. They're not the same. All right. Now you can see the difference, can't you? This is the one I've been throwing. See, it's a lot lighter. All right. This is the one I just threw. Just caught a fish on. See the difference? This one's a greenish. This one was chartreuse, and I added a little bit of lime to it, okay, to make it deeper. And I added a drop of black, so it made it a deeper green. This is more of a chartreuse pearl, and the pumpkin's lighter on this. And this is a light pumpkin. This is green pumpkin. This is this is green pumpkin, green belly, and this is pumpkin seed, chartreuse belly. And this is the one he picked up and went, mmm. That's what we're thinking about this one. Yeah, that looks all right. Well, I just caught one on the green pumpkin. One so. <laughs> uh, what did I just say the last clip? Why do, I mean, why do fish hit set in color? I mean, look at that. I mean, the jet greenish color to the belly. And I got, there's a silver and chartreuse flake in, in, in this color. And the top has black and blue flake in it. If y'all can see them or not. See a blue one right here. See a blue one here sank down into the shark trees a little bit. Now you see a blue one in there. See the little blue once in a while. Blue in there. Uh, but anyway, what, what, you know, what looks real in that water? I mean, that looks nothing like a minna to us, right? <laughs> but I, I think it just looks like something to eat, guys, sometimes. I don't think I don't think they say, you know, I was mentioning that whole gun. I, I have thought about this many times, even bass fishing, you know? I don't think they go, uh, I don't think they're smart enough to go, uh, I don't look like a man, it's the wrong color, I'm going to leave that alone. I think if it looks alive, and it don't look fake to them, and they're interested in eating a little bit, they're going to grab it. 
I think that's what. If they're feeding, I think you could tear. And if you get into a school of crappy that's feeding, I think you could tear a piece of your shirt off and cut some more sometimes. And then we go to the extreme, like I said, the one you can't get a bite. Or somebody just told me the other day, some one of the guys that got some of my baits, he emailed me and said his, he was fishing and he was catching them and his dad wasn't catching them and he was catching them on the, one of my baits. And he said, his dad said, can I have one of those baits? <laughs> Sometimes it's that way. Sometimes you gotta have a certain bait or you ain't getting bit. That's fishing, guys. I reckon that's what makes it fun, right? <laughs> Guys, went back to the light jig. Let me get my hands out of y'all's way. Try to keep my hands above you. And every now and then I cut myself, catch myself putting my hands in front of the camera and stuff. I'm sorry for that, guys. I'm trying my best. You get to fighting the fish sometimes. You forget where your hands and your body is. I'm letting the wind blow me. He gave up. He was fighting hard. And I got two pound test. So yeah, I just you just don't go jerking them around on two pound test. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. That's a nice fish. I knew that one monsters. It was three of them out there, and I didn't, I didn't get the other camera on. I looked down and seen them, and I cast it down. Back to the light jig. I'm telling you, that's a good color. Rambo. He's about 13, guys. 12 and a half to 13. Let's, let's put it that way. Wow, I've seen these two fish, and I... I threw at them. I thought they're probably bass because they're moving pretty fast. I threw out in front of them and uh, let it sink. And I seen one of them move. I started reeling. And I seen him move again. So he's after my bait. Then I felt the thump. Let's like say sometimes you don't have to see your bait. If you can see the fish, if you can see the fish, you know what the fish is doing. You see that he's moving. He sees which direction he's going. That's that's a big help. That's a nice fish. I thought they were bass. This is why I thought they were bass right here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. my goodness. All right, let me hit my spotlight, guys. There you go. That's why I use that remote when I'm by myself. It makes it so nice. Watch out. Wow. <laughs> Here's this little tiny bait. That little fluke. I'm telling you guys, it's a sleeper. I got them in the store down there. Everybody wants the stinger shad and the willow tails. That little fluke, it's a good bait. Don't be afraid of that fluke. And it will catch fish. Y'all have seen me catch some nice ones on the last couple videos, haven't you? On that color. I said, I call that color rain. On the package, it's going to be rainbow, guys. Not right. Look here, he's, he's four, a touch over 14. Look how fat that thing is. Any a pig? I mean, that is a pig, guys. Wow. Look how wide he is. Big old belly. Hey, well, if I put him in upside down like this, you think that's going to mess him up? Let's see what happens. Nah, he turned around and took off. <laughs> uh, Woo-wee! Okay, folks. Thank you all for making it to the end. I had a good day. had a good evening this evening. and had a few hours. I caught some fish. They're scattered more right now. The water's warming up. You've seen them in the Death Finder. It depends where I was. Most places it's in the 50s. Uh, some places high 50s. And uh, they're roaming more. They're constantly moving. I've seen a lot of schools moving. I caught some of them out of the schools. Schools from 3 to 10. And I'll just throw at them and try to throw ahead of them. I threw at a lot of them, guys. I didn't catch but a few because sometimes I couldn't. The bait, time the bait sank, they were gone. Okay? And if I went to a heavier head so it would sink faster, they weren't quite as interested in it. They still want that slower fall. Sometimes that's what it's about too, guys. It ain't just color. Sometimes it's slower fall. I used a uh, uh, few different colors. So I made these Friday. Mason came by. I said this in the video. Mason came by and was looking at them. He picked that one up. And he said, this one looks okay. And that was the pumpkin seed one, you know. And he picked up the green pumpkin with the with the kind of a lime sharp tree at the bottom. He went, he looked at me. I said, what's wrong? I said, you don't like that one? He said, I don't know about that one. Well, I caught fish on that one. <laughs> I think sometimes it's just a matter of getting in front of them, you know? And uh, I said this in the video. I don't know why uh, uh, Crappy would be interested in something that was pumpkin seed, but they are, guys. If y'all understand it, and you know why, why they're hit pink sometimes, sometimes blue, sometimes green, sometimes a natural-looking color, and then sometimes something like black and blue, 
If y'all got that figured out, tell me about it, because to me, it's, it, it doesn't make sense sometimes. But I know it's about the watercolor, and it's about the amount of sunlight we have, right? That makes a difference. And sometimes, guys, it just looks like something to eat. That's what it's got to look like for them. Something alive and something to eat, right? Appreciate you guys. Thank you all so much. Love the comments. Try to read all of them. I try to comment to all of them, okay? All right? This is a fun video. And if I get a couple extras, I said this, I'm, I'll throw one in on a Friday. If I get time to get a couple extra fun videos, I'll throw those in. So we have two a week fun videos and a Porter Cats on Sundays. Porter Cats on Sundays, as I said. Wednesday, I load a fun video. Thursdays, I'm loading who won video. So I'm already doing three videos a week. But the Thursdays video, just say who won, okay? All right? Appreciate you. Ned, my name's Dennis. See you next time, guys. Fishing Lake Country.